drill and then you'll die <laughs> Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new in my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe my YouTube channel for more videos and updates. Now we are going to answer a problem based on the discussion we discussed for the last video that I uploaded about analysis of business transactions. So here is the problem. Al Bam Mar have put up a small editorial service company. Below is the record of transactions in the past few weeks since the company started its operation. So, here are the transactions. On February 15, made an initial investment of 200000 On February 16, purchased three computer units worth 25000 each. On February 17, Paid rent worth ten thousand for the office unit to be used for the business. For the business, on February eighteen, purchased three table and chair set worth three thousand each set. And on February nineteen, rendered services to eight graduating students who wanted their research papers edited for three thousand. Each. And on February 20, rendered services to client worth 15000 on account. On February 21 to 23, cash revenues for operations for these dates 12000 11350 16000 respectively. And on February 24, one of the owners made a withdrawal for the investment amounting to 25000 for personal use. And on February 25 to 28, cash revenues from operations on these dates 12,513,650, 15,000, 14,350 respectively. So required. So prepare journal entries. So each transaction we're going to journalize. So let's first answer the first transaction. So on February 15, made an initial investment of 200000 So, what will be our entry? What will be our debit? And what will be our credit? So, what is the value we receive? And what is the value we parted with? So, here is the journal entry. So, the business received cash for the amount of 200000 for the initial investment. And our credit will be ABM Capital for the amount of 200,000. So our asset increase for the amount of 200,000 and our capital increase for the amount of 200,000. Now let's go to our next transaction. February 16. Purchase three computer units worth 25,000 each. So the business purchased computer units and each computer units worth 25,000. So our journal entry for that transaction is computer equipment worth 75,000 and cash 75,000. So so you wonder why 75,000 is the amount of the computer equipment since in our transaction we purchased three computer units and each computer unit is worth 25,000. So 25,000 times Three, so we have seventy five thousand, and also you wonder why cash. Oh, since our problem is silent, so so we assume that on the purchase of computer we pay it directly cash. Then next, on February seventeen, paid rent worth ten thousand for the office unit to be used for the business. So. We are renting our business. So at the end of the month, we are going to pay our rental for our, for the office unit that we rent that we use for our business. So our journal entry for that transaction is the business received rent expense for the expense that is being incurred by renting the, our office business and since our problem is silent, so 
we assume that we pay it directly on cash. Then, so our debit is rent expense, 10000 And our credit is cash, 10000 So, next transaction. On February 18, purchase three tables and chair set worth 3000 each set. So, our journal entry for this transaction is furnitures and fixtures. 9,000. So we receive our debit is furniture and fixtures. 9,000. We receive three tables and chair set for the month of 9,000. And our value parted with our credit is cash 9,000. So since our problem is silent, we assume that as we purchase the tables and chairs, we pay it directly to cash. And then you wonder why is the amount is 9000 since we purchase three set of table and chairs and each set cost 3000 so that is why 9000 is the amount in our credit for the cash and our debit for the furniture and features 9000 so 3000 times 3 is equal to 9000 so next, we have February 19, rendered services to 8 graduating students who wanted their research, research paper edited for 3000 each. So our journal entry for our transaction is that since we rendered services to, our, to the 8 graduating students to edit their research paper, so our journal entry for this is we receive cash 24,000 and our credit is service income 24,000. So, why is it that it is 24,000 for the amount of the service income? Since each graduating student costs 3,000 to edit their research paper. So, 3,000 times 8 is equal to 24,000. So, that is why we the amount that we receive for the cash is 24000 and also for the service income that we receive is 24000 And since our problem is silent, we assume as soon as we render the services to our client, then they pay it directly to cash. Then next is on February 19, we purchase office supplies worth 5,000 on account. So in this transaction, we purchase office supplies, but it is on account. So what does this mean? So this means that gi utang na to ang per purchase sa of office supply. So that is why our journal entry for this transaction is that our debit is office supplies for the amount of 5,000. And our credit, the value that we parted with is accounts payable 5000 Since in the transaction, it says on account. So, giyotang na to ang per purchase of his supply. So, our credit is accounts payable. So, so that's it. And on February 20, Rendered services to client worth 15000 on account. So, kung kaganina ang atuang transaction is na purchase the office supplies and on account now is our transaction is rendering services to client on account. So, so our journal entry for this transaction is accounts receivable 15000 and service income 15000 So, why? Nganong ingon ani man? So, di ba, gireng turn out at ang services to client on account. So, in our part as a business, we receive accounts receivable. So, instead of cash, since on account man ang hatag sa to ang client, so, we have the accounts receivable. Accounts receivable, collectible na to sa to ang kliyente for the month of 15000 And we have our service income for the month of 15000 
So on February 20, paid the office supplies purchase on February 19. Diba? At one transaction, kaganina sa February 19 is, when you purchase the office supplies on account, our debit is office supplies and our credit is accounts payable. So now, based on our transaction on February 19 for the purchase of office supplies, now we are going to pay our liability for that transaction. So, para ma, ma, ma zero na nga itong accounts payable. So, that is why na debit na karoon si accounts payable for the payment of the office supplies we purchased on February 19. So, we debit accounts payable 5,000 and we credit cash 5,000. So, as you can see, di ba kaganina sa February 19, ang ato ang credit is accounts payable 5,000. Then, karoon sa February 20, since we pay na ang ato ang utang sa office supplies sa per-purchase na ito, so ma-debit na sa accounts payable, and our credit is cash line, nagbayad naman ta. So now, let's go to our next transaction. February 21 to 23, cash revenues for the operations for this date. We have 12,000 for February 21. On February 22, 11,350. And February 23, 16,000 respectively. So our journal entry for the for these dates, on February 21, we received cash. 12,000 amounted to 12,000. And our credit is service income 12,000. And on February 22, our cash increased to 11,350. And our service income is 11,350. And February 23, we received cash 16,000. And our service income is 16,000. So, the next section is, on February 24, one of the owners made a withdrawal for their investment, amounting 25000 for personal use. So, our journal entry for this transaction is ABM drawing 25000 and cash 25000 So, nakuha na ito ang cash of 25000 based on the drawing for this transaction. And also our capital kay ma decrease. Now let's go to the next transaction, February 25 to February 28. So cash revenues from operations on these dates. On February 25, 12,500. On February 26, 13,650. On February 27, 15,000. February 28, 14,350 respectively. So, our journal entry for this transaction is, on February 25, we received cash 12500 and our credit is service income 12500 So, there is an increase in our cash and also an increase in our income. On February 26, our entry will be cash 13650 and our credit is service income 13650 there is also an increase in cash and also an increase in income. On February 27, cash 15,000 and service income is 15,000. And on February 28, cash 14,350 and our credit is service income 14,350. And there is also an increase in cash and also an income. So that's all for our problem that we discuss and on how we're going to journalist instruction. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share my YouTube channel for more videos and updates. Thanks for watching.